I put the water in the bowl along with the fresh yeast broken into chunks and I run it with just the roller for a minute or two to get the yeast uh, blended into the water. Then I weigh the flour and salt into the bowl and then I set it to incorporate at a low speed. So we're just going to move to the middle to get that pile of flour. It's all pretty much stuck to the roller at the moment. Now we're going to give it some speed to try and let it do its thing. So we go up to, that's the three o'clock position, that's two and a half marks on the dial. You can see that there. And it's mixing and now we're going to tighten the knob a bit to bring it away. and this time we're going to run it at a faster speed that's about five o'clock on the dial or six on the little segments here so we're coming up on ten minutes at uh, a very fast speed so I believe believe that this has been through more revolutions than our first batch now. We'll finish any second. There we go. So, let's see where we're at. Pretty, okay, now we're pretty stretchable. And let's see if we can, yeah, we're beginning to get the window pane not as I mean, this isn't a pizza dough, certainly. Um, it's not as stretchy as I would achieve with a bit of hand kneading at this point. Okay, so we're back. This time we're using Arrowhead Mills organic all-purpose flour unbleached from hard red winter wheat with absolutely no shortcuts. Let's see how are, uh, if there are any differences using this flour, exact same hydration at 65% compared to the last two baffling batches of dough that we just made. So uh, I'm gonna incorporate at slow speed for a couple of minutes um, and then we will come back and have a look. Okay, so we're coming up on the end of our second four minute stint for a total of eight minutes of massage by the Ankars room and well that it looks like a tight ball of dough um, I'm not sure what we're doing now it's not window painting um, but you know I'm just so over this I'm not sure what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna hand slap it for a minute or two and uh, see what it looks like so now I'm gonna bring a stopwatch in and um, we can get a rough idea of how long it's going to take to massage this, um, to knead it into submission. Okay, so we just passed the 10 minute mark, <clears throat> and as you can see, as I do this. I'm getting quite a nice, smooth, elasticy feel from the dough. It's balled nicely. 
comes together in a nice ball. Let's, uh, one test to see if it's ready is to see, hold it as a ball and see if it droops. And at the moment, that certainly doesn't feel like it's drooping. That's a firm resisting ball. Okay, so holding up to the light here, I can certainly see through that. I'm not sure if that shows on camera, but you get the idea. So after 10 minutes, I'm fairly happy with the development of this dough. Certainly feels bouncy, lively, um, and I'll be quite happy to uh, give that its first proof. And we're going to do that in the bowl that we mixed in. There we go. Nice looking dough there.